have CSP Bank Management joins us now after reporting their second quarter earnings. The company's net profit and net interest income rise while asset quality remains at a stable level. However, due to perhaps some weakness in the PLN, we are seeing uh, you know, a decline in the stock price. We have with us the MD CEO joining us to detail those numbers. Thanks a lot, uh, sir, for joining in. You know, that's uh, the first question. With a strong loan growth that you've reported, that doesn't seem to have uh, translated into the PNL. I mean, your net profits are up just about a percent and a half. Uh, can you tell us why that is? Uh, thanks, Mangalam, for having me. Yes, uh, we had a very good loan growth. I think uh, we are almost close to 25%, 24.1% loan growth uh, year on year. Uh, we also had a reasonable growth on the uh, balance sheet size. Having said that, I think on a year-on-year -year basis, the uh, profit is up uh, 30%, uh, which is um, uh, we think is uh, reasonably good. Quarter-on-quarter, uh, -quarter, of course, uh, we had uh, uh, two, two issues to be taken care of. If you look at it, our non-interest income, uh, while core non-interest income has grown by more than 40%, but we uh, uh, took some uh, hit on the Treasury this quarter. so. Uh, that has uh, impacted our uh, non-interest income a little bit. So from that perspective, I think uh, uh, this is uh, A, because of the cyclical interest cyclicality and also because of uh, you know uh, certain hit we took on our SR portfolio, uh, which almost I, I think we don't have much of our SR portfolio left with us anymore. So given that perspective, I think on the core businesses, which is core non-interest income, core NIM, NIM has actually improved uh compared to last quarter as well obviously we cannot hold that kind of a name uh, in the long run and uh, and overall i think we are looking at growth we have always been uh, told by our investors and everybody that look at growth and that is something which you have started growing uh, so overall i think we are pretty happy which with, with our quarter results and on a compounding growth story we should be able to see the profitability improve Okay, uh, so just a quick word on the asset quality. What were your slippages as compared to last quarter as well as recoveries? And what is your guidance? Slippages were pretty flattish compared to last quarter, almost similar. We also had uh, recovery from both the right of pool as well as, uh, you know, uh, upgrades were also quite good. So our, hence net credit cost continued to be negative. Now uh, that's uh, too good a story to be true for too long. Last quarter was negative. This quarter is also credit cost is negative, net credit cost. So obviously, some amount of credit cost will come back as we uh, get into the next two, three quarters. But overall, I think our broad guidance has been that uh, we'll be below 1% on uh, net NPA and 2% uh, uh, on gross NPA. We are well below that. Uh, we are 0.57%, I think, on net NPA. And... Uh, Gross also have improved over last quarter. So I think we have no challenge at all on that side. We are looking good. You said the NIMS won't sustain at such high levels. Could you give us a number of uh, uh, NIMS that you're looking at going forward in terms of a broad range? And loan growth at 24-25%, is that sustainable? What's the target for this year? So even last quarter had said this, that uh, we will try to uh, do better than the system. I think overall credit growth has improved in the system. But I think, uh, yeah, we still don't know, but we, we seem to have done better than the system and we will try to look at it that way. Uh, in terms of uh, NIM, yes, I think uh, we are uh, above 5.6% uh, uh, right now. Uh, we will be closer to five, uh, as, as you know, that the cost of funds are going to go up eventually as the cost gets, uh, uh, you know, uh, as new, new cost and new, new uh, deposits are getting booked at a higher price. So given that perspective, I think we should be happy if we are able to hold it somewhere around 